Okay, so hello everyone, Applefiles7 here, and today we have a video which is going to be on Safari tips and tricks. In case you didn't know, but you probably will, Safari is the built in Mac um, internet browser, same as Internet Explorer and Firefox. Um, you'll just have to excuse me, I'll just upload a video, just open a new window for you. So, first of all, we're going to go to preferences. Because that's where most of the um, tips and tricks are going to be performed. So first of all we're going to go in the general tab. And basically what I'm going to do is just tell you about everything and what it does. So first of all we have your default web browser which is Safari 5.1. That's the web browser what you use mainly. Mine's Safari 5.1 because I don't have any of us installed and um, next we have default search engine which is this search bar here you can choose from google yahoo and bing i personally prefer google um a new window i've just opened a new window then it says i open my own top sites but you can change it to your home page or bookmarks or anything i'll just change it from a home page for what i'm going to do later also, you can have new tabs, you can change that, I'll change it to top sites. Um, and this is how you change your home page. You've got your apple.com forward slash UK, that's my home page. But I can change it to google.co.uk. Um, and then you've got your history, which you can access from your top sites here. Um, mine's on remove history items after one month, but change it one day to give you more space um, here it says where do you want to save download files so if you download it it jumps to here and it saves to your default download folder um, I don't really want to change that um, you can remove download list items manual when Safari quits or upon su successful download that's nothing you need to worry about really um, it opens save files automatically after downloading. Save files are ones which definitely won't include viruses like movies, pictures, sounds, word documents, etc. Um, if we move on to the next tab, which is appearance, um, there's nothing really changes here. You've just got your default font. I quite like Century Gothic, so I'll change my Century Gothic. Um, there, and you've got your fixed wick font here. That's nothing really to worry about. And if you do need extra help, you can always click this help button down in the corner. Bookmarks are your favourite websites, basically. Um, not much on the tabs. Um, open pages and tabs instead of windows. That's when you click on links or anything. I've selected mine as always because I hate it when your yeah, Safari gets blocked up with loads of tabs and windows. I mean, um, this is RSS. You've got your default RSS. RSS is just news, recent news, and it comes up to here. I've got mine's news. There's nine new ones at the moment, um, and it checks for updates every 30 minutes. Um, so that's RSS. Autofill, this is pretty annoying actually because um, your account and your address book when you fill in forms like registering and stuff you can autofill with that but I don't like that so I'm just going to untick both of them so it doesn't do it. Security, um, this is one of the good features because it can warn you of uh, anything warns you if there's a bad site or stuff like that. Next we've got privacy. Um, this is pretty simple. Just cookies. Block cookies and limited website access. Then you've got your Safari extensions. Um, nothing really there. You don't need anything. And for advanced you've got uh, never use fonts smaller than whatever you choose it to be. Press tab to highlight each item on a web page. Nothing really there. Style sheet and selected. Um, you can change your proxy settings and your database storage. 
it's 5 megabytes. I wouldn't recommend changing that, just keep it as it is. So if you change that, this is your top sites page. You can access that there by clicking this. Here's show all bookmarks and here's your reading list. You can edit your top sites by deleting things off or pinning them to it. That means it will always be on this when you open it. And you can make the view small, medium, large. I use medium. Um, and the history is all the sites you've been on. This will delete automatically after the date, what we've just selected in there. Um, these are your favourite sites. If you want to drag a site to that, you just drag the URL. Can't do it off my history. Um, and then you can search your history here. Clear your history. Clear it like that. Um, up here we have most of the things which control Safari. We've got a new window, new tab, close window, import bookmarks, edit. You've got your copy and your paste. View all your toolbars, history, that's just like top sites and the history that I've just showed you and then you've got bookmarks again. Minimize the window, zoom in, merge windows, etc. And then you've got your help where you can search any help. But hopefully I've shown you quite a lot of things in this. So just go onto my YouTube page and show you some of the controls. So you can cancel it and refresh it. Um, if you have a picture that you want to drag onto your desktop or save it, you can drag it on like so. I don't really have a picture to drag on, but you just click down, hold down, and drag it off the page onto your desktop, and that will save it onto your desktop. Also, if you hold down here, you can see all your windows. There's an option for a new window, you can quit, hide it, show all windows and you can remove it from your dock, um, open it, login or show in finder. So that's basically all you need for Safari, um, that's all from me and thanks for watching. Bye.